This section will show you how to remove grease and clean your samples. Wear gloves and goggles during this procedure. Read and sign the COSH forms for Astone and IPA before using them. The same procedure will also remove PMMA from samples, known as liftoff. Fill the ultrasonic bath with water so that the level is above the level of the net. Fill a beaker with a small amount of acetone. For acetone, use the beakers with the red marker. Take the sample and put it into the beaker. And then put the beaker into the ultrasonic bath. Turn the ultrasonic bath to about the two minutes setting. Acetone dissolves greases and polymers. It is a good cleaner, but will leave a residue if left to dry on its own. To remove the acetone, we use IPA. IPA stands for isopropanol alcohol. The IPA is stored in the blue bottles we use the beakers with the blue colouring around it. Fill the beaker with a small amount of IPA. When the ultrasonic bath has finished, transfer the sample from the acetone to the IPA. And then put the sample in the IPA onto the ultrasonic bath again. Again, to around the two minute mark. After the sample has finished in the IPA, we will need to dry it. To do this, we use the nitrogen bin. To get the nitrogen flowing, first pull the lever down. Then turn the knob clockwise until the pressure on the right hand side which is about half a bar. The nitrogen gun should now work. When the ultrasonic bath has finished, remove the beaker. Take the sample out and place on a clean surface or a lint free spot. Spray the sample with nitrogen, moving the gun from side to side. Holding the sample onto the surface will prevent it from flying away. This will dry the sample without leaving a residue. After drying, the sample can be kept in its box. After we have finished, we need to throw away the waste acetone and IPA. To do this, we have two waste bottles. Try to use the tallest one first, before moving on to the smaller one. If the tall one is full, then contact BevLane at the email that is shown on the label on the bottle, and she can remove the waste chemicals. We are going to put the waste acetone and IPA into the chemical box bottle. Rinse the beakers with acetone. And then IPA. This removes any residue that is left inside the beakers. Finally, we put the beakers back on the drying rack to dry. To turn the nitrogen off, we reverse the procedure we did before. First of all, 
we raise the lever to cut off the gas flowing into the regulator. Then we press the nitrogen gun to release the excess gas in the regulator. Finally, we rotate the regulator anti-clockwise as far as we can.